Yeah, there's a rhythm. There's a rhythm to it, and the rhythm takes you through the day. It's, it's funny. You kind of your whole body gets used to it. Your your muscles know the movement. Yeah. I do enjoy this outdoor, outdoor work. Yeah. It's great. Even uh, even in winter. Yeah. The weather is sometimes very harsh, but still, I feel better outdoor. Yeah. Than, than sitting in some office. Or <laughs> I leave my depot in the morning. 6 o'clock in the morning, I come to my section and basically it's, it's me. Nobody looks over my shoulder, yeah. tells me to this, to that. I, I do enjoy this. I am on my own. I was on the post for 20 odd years and it's the same kind of structure, 6 to 2. Yeah. The, the, the uh, early Royal, start, early, yeah, Royal, Royal Mail. Mail yeah. Early start, early finish. You have yeah. your own beat, if you like, your own round, we used to call it. And that's what I like. So it's a better job than people think. Yeah. These type of jobs. It sounds silly, but there's a yeah. kind of there's a, there's a job to do, and you know you can do it, and it gets done, and there's a certain satisfaction yeah. in that. You get you get certain people here and there who start have a chat. Um, I suppose those people sort of give you a wee bit of motivation in this job, seeing as uh, when they when they appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. Um, they realise that if we weren't there, then the state the place would be in. Uh, when I moved here from Ireland, I was applying for lots and lots of jobs, and it's the only one that got back to me. So, I'll uh, be talking to the lads who work here for a while, and all the different types of people who are in there from all different countries. And I mean, it's like, it's like, like a mini UN in the locker room. It's, in, in Poland, it's very hard to find a hard life, you know. Here is very, very good. It's easy. For hard life for, yeah, for yeah, everyone. Yeah. yeah. The, the weather is harsh as well. Isn't the it? weather is, is no problem, but money is problem. Yeah. The money. Yeah. Okay. And where are you from? Somalia. You're from Somalia? Yeah. And, and why did you come? Because of the war Somalia. Because of the war? Yeah. Uh, still I'm improving my, lang my language, my English, and I try to, to improve my education to learn something. Like I hope to learn IT. So, Mohammed, how long have you been doing this job? About 18 years. How many years? Thirteen. Thirteen years? Yeah. Where are you from? From Somalia. Oh, you're from Somalia as well? Yes. And so, you, so you've got your family now? I've got my family li now, yeah. Living here? Yeah, I've got six children. Six children? Yeah. Wow. That's, uh, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> so are you, you're, are you from Jamaica? Yeah, you're Jamaican. Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah. But I've, I migrated to England for a long time now, 20 odd years. I'm yeah. a British citizen now. Okay. And things, I have kids here. And, and I have kids at Jamaica, and, you know. You kid, kids and, here and, and kids there. Yeah, yeah, Big, you know, and so. Big family. Yes. It's an interesting con um, traditional conflict between um, lowly paid jobs now, where those jobs are becoming more competitive, yeah. and the feeling that immigrants need jobs as well. And yeah. Beginning to to almost encroach on, and, and, on and the jobs that are available for everyone right. else. We, we haven't faced that argument. We don't like. We find it unpalatable. Yeah, but it, but it, it's for for people looking for jobs. I think I think it's a fact. They have to, to them. It's just a fact. Yeah. I have a degree in video production, and um, thought I'd see if there's any more work going over here. But that's why I got the job as a street sweeper in the meantime, just to keep me fed and living somewhere. Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy the job? Sure. Uh, Grand, it's fine. It's what? Honestly, it's 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 just a job. I mean, I've, yeah. I've had better jobs, I've had worse jobs, but you know, I, I don't really think about it. I mean, I, all I do is think about ways to get work and what I actually want to do. Yeah, that, that's what I kind of concern myself with. I'm a professional artist. Oh right. Yeah, singer, you know. Are you? Yeah. All right. What kind of uh, what reggae? Kind of... I'm a reggae. Reggae. Artist. Artist. Yeah. All right. Top Fantastic. reggae artist. You know? Yeah. Very international. And so I have two different images. When yeah. you see me in the music, it's different from when you see me in the work. You know? So when I'm in the music, I'm different. I'm like a pop star. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, I was uh, made redundant um, and I couldn't find any work up in Scotland. So this was basically a last resort for me, just to come down here and find work. So you're, are, you, are you wanting to get back into... into 
what you trained in and uh, join if, if it was possible, yeah, I would, I would uh, I'd go back to it, but if uh, the way things are there now, I'll just stick to this. Within a big company like Royal Mail, like Veolia, where there's opportunity, if you need to change, mm. you can do so within the company. You, you could move up to the, the lorries or right, spoke okay. to Kev about you could be the foreman yeah, and yeah. you're driving around yeah. supervising yeah. or working on the dust carts or little little small promotions. I'm, yeah. I'm not a general manager guy particularly. Do you see, see yourself doing this in five years? Or? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll carry on till we retire. You, you will do? Yeah. yeah. I've been been on it for a long time now, so might as well stick with it. Ten ten years. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So better than the uh, better than the rails, or just no, that was better. It it was better. Yeah, okay. it was better. But now it's all past. Sure. So I've got different, to stick with a new life. Different different chapter. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I live one day at yeah. a time. See, you don't know what tomorrow may be, and they're planning for five, six, seven years. So. You can live one day at a time, but you live the best you can and okay. live good amongst people and, you, you know. I've been working in the same area for the last almost six years. And people who live here, residents, they, they get to, to know me and they respond very friendly, very kindly. Mm. Uh, in the beginning, yes, they were kind of, you know, not sure. Mm -hmm. I am, but after some times it changed. I'm always approachable, and I like to be. I like to interact, with the and a lot of public like to interact with you. Others don't. You see the same people also following their daily structure. Yeah. Let's say half eight, going to work. Some of them at various times, and you you recognise them because you do the same round every yeah. day. Some of them will stop. Some of them will say good morning and someone will just walk past you. Yeah. That's kind of up to them. What about the public? Do you do you have much contact with them doing No, that? but mostly it's old people who old say people. who say to you that oh you're doing a good job and yeah. keep it up and all that but then the others just they just look at you and think to think to well, what are you doing that sort of job for? Really? Yeah. In their mind, in your in your mind you just you just ignore it and most of the people look at us like we're, we're trash cans, you know, rubbish, rubbish people. Why did I start getting them? I liked them. My dad hated them. Right. Yeah, that might have helped. Uh, <laughs> I had a girlfriend like them, then I really got into them. I'll, I'll show you if you want to show, feel my torso, I'll take my top off. Well, yeah. Can I go? Yeah, yeah. 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 Sure, part of the owner's yeah. public relations. That would be, okay. be, be interesting. Yeah, I mean, if you don't, if you don't oh, mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'll show off my tattoos. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's, yeah. That's a sort of Chinese yeah, dragon on the back, isn't two it? Two dragons fighting over a pearl of wisdom. Okay. And then I had a Buddha down here, because I got very interested in that. Yeah. And I bought this chrysanthemum stuff and, and a cherry blossom up here. Okay. And then I had um, some no regrets, which I have none. This is from Book of Revelations. It's like a whole... It's like a personal philosophy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. But actually, some of the people that I have got to talk to also, oh, I like your toes, man, tattooed up. <laughs> when you get talking to them, they're actually quite interesting. Yeah. You know, they have something to say, and they have a life, and they have uh, ideas about their life and thoughts and a little bit of history, and, mm. and they're more interesting than one would think, because yeah. they're not normally ever connect or interact with them as perhaps you would never interact with me if you weren't doing a film yeah yeah and you know and someone might think this is a road sweeper you know well, but but i have something to say in my own life and i'm relatively content with it yeah and i know other people are as well yeah Journey in pursuit of the 